All enzymes are proteins that speed up chemical reactions. When there's a lot of a certain enzyme present, the rate of reaction will be higher, which means it occur faster. This lab deals with the enzyme known as catalase. Catalase breaks down hydrogen peroxide, which is poisonous, into two harmless substances, such as water and oxygen. Cells in your body are always making poisonous chemicals. Therefore, it's the enzyme's job to speed up breaking down these things so they don't kill your cells. We will see which food sample contains the most catalase and will break down the peroxide the fastest. Okay, we're using 0 0.5 grams of an apple, 0 0.5 grams of a potato, and two pieces of liver that each weigh 0 0.5 grams so we can put one into boil and one in with a test tube and peroxide. Okay, so before we do the rest of our experiment, we're about to put one of the pieces of chicken liver into boil inside the test tube and make sure it touches all the way at the bottom. If you can't get it to the bottom, use your glass rod to get it all the way to the bottom. Put it in the boiling water. Okay, my partner is about to put the piece of the apple inside the test tube with a pipette full of peroxide. All of these had a different reaction. The apple's reaction rate was a two because it has a few bubbles. The potato's reaction rate was a three because it has a little more bubbles than the apple and has a little foam. The raw liver's reaction rate was a four because it rose to the top and it had a lot of bubbles and foam. The boiled liver reaction rate was a zero because it has no bubbles, no foam, and no reaction. Because when you boil a protein at a high temperature, it denatures and breaks down the enzymes. As you can see from this lab, the raw liver had the most catalase present and the boiled liver had the least catalase present. This shows that adding extreme heat to working enzymes denatures them. Thanks for watching Culturally Relevant Science. Bye!